I wanted to share with you what I think is one of the most exciting things uh, in terms of buying TLDs at free name um, that might allow you to really buy some great TLDs, get a feeling for some of the premium pricing and get a list of prospects that you can buy, uh, especially if you're buying during some of the periods where you may have a coupon. And so what's exciting about this is, um, is that you can search up to 10 domains in the search box at one time. Now that means you can search up to 10 domain names, meaning left of the dot with something right of the dot. And you can search up to 10 TLDs by just typing in the words and then it'll tell you whether the TLD is available. Um, let's see. It'll tell you whether the TLD is available and then at what price. And then you can either add it to your cart or, or keep it on a list of different of different ones to buy. So first I'll show you how it works with, um, with domain names. So what I've done is I've got a list of popular first names. And I think whether you're trying to find your own first name or first names of people in your family or nicknames, you can look to get domain names, Web3 domain names that are now working uh, for any computer that has the plugin, which is this extension up here, where I'm gonna click it here and you get into the free name and you can either get a direct link to browse, register, look up who is, um, but more importantly, when you put your domain name up in the browser bar, it'll resolve. So now you've got the ability to create your own namespace. And as you build your community, asking each one of your community members to download the extension, you can create both your audience of people to see your domain names, as well as people to buy the names. Every time new people download the extension, we grow the universe of people that can see free names. But anyway, Back to the bulk. So I put in leslie.metaverse, caitlin.metaverse, leah.metaverse, just a random list of 10 first names. And now instead of having to put one of these in uh, one at a time, I can see that Leslie is available for $495 because a lot of premium names carry a premium price. Caitlin may be one that wasn't on the list of premium pricing and it may not be as popular, but for you, if you if you are Caitlin or you've got a Caitlin you know or you want to buy it for resale, you've got a chance to get it for $25. Same with Natasha and Erica. Casey is a premium. Latoya, Eric is a premium. Dana, Victor. So you've got this ability to search 10 at a time. And in this case, I'm searching domain names and I chose the TLD.metaverse. Now, the other thing you can do is if I wanted to, I could type in those same 10 names as TLDs, and I could ask the system to tell me, were those TLDs available? And I would find out that dot Leslie was available, dot Caitlin, dot Leah, dot Natasha, and these would be the different premium prices that you could pay. So the other thing I've done at different times is I keep a list of dictionary words. And so I might sit there and say, you know what? I wonder how much dictionary words are. What if I can find a, you know, a good, a good um, dictionary word? So I'll type in uh, ten of them. I'll start with the A's. And these are words that appear in a lot of TLDs. So dot abbreviations would be 1700. Dot abide would be uh, 1600. And then you get into some two-word combos. Dot about health would be 79 dot accident attorneys with the S at the end. So this is a way again, where you can type in words 10 at a time, and then you can check and see if you like any of the TLDs or if you like any of the prices. So I can put in my next list of 10 and I can check those out. Uh, so I might see dot achieve max or dot across. So I think it's a great way. Now, if you've got a list of combinations, two word names, which I make using my own spreadsheet. Um, whoops, I put the dot coms in them. Hold on a second. Um, you can sit there and you can put them in and you can put those in and potentially see what they're available. So hopefully if you're looking to get some new TLDs on board and you're looking to get an idea uh, of what's available and how much the premium prices are, um, using the bulk search and putting them in 10 at a time can be a great advantage.
Thanks a lot.